Hello, my name is Konstantinos Yambanis and uh, I'm here to present you Perceptions and Collaboration, Data Visualization and Collaboration in VR. The subject is, ab is about how the users uh, visualize data in VR and how they interact with it and also explores uh, some parts of collaboration between users in VR while vi visualizing data. The first subject uh, and paper I want to present is the design and evaluation of interactive small multiples data visualization in immersive spaces from the Monash University. They performed two user studies comparing the effect of the self curvature dimension from their design spans on users' ability to perform comparison and trend analysis tasks. The technology and the hardware that has been used is the ATC Vive Pro with the ROM scale experience, the Unity engine, a VR ready Windows PC, the VRTK for interactions, and the IATK for rendering and data visualizations. The motivating scenarios and data applications between the researchers' mind was uh, they, they, they wanted to research uh, data, data in the in real world that has apl applications uh, straight to VR. For example, they want to uh, research aircraft trajectories, uh, building information models and demographic indicators that all have a part of 3D uh, sequence in the real world. For example, the, the air traffic the analysts uh, routinely analyze aircraft trajectories to access the maximum capacity of an airport on before opening a new route. The use of 3D visualization is very important as airplanes move in 3D space and important constraints applied on both light, longitude and altitude. In order to identify peak traffic periods, it's important for them to be able to compare the traffic hourly, daily or weekly. The building information models is the, they, have, they have used uh, from facility managers and have more opportunities to visualize data coming from different building sensors like CO2 and temperature overlaid on 3D uh, cut model of buildings. Seasonality is very important while looking at building, at, at building data is the outside weather has a big influence on parameters like air condition and lighting. It is then important for them to be able to aggregate and visualize their data per hour, day or month. And then the demographic uh, indicators uh, were looking at demographic data like population, GDP, spending in different settings. It is important to see both the temporal and spatial evolutions uh, by years on and count. The use of 3D bar charts and small multiplies arrays allows uh, for four dimensions of data to be viewed simultaneously and potentially for trends involving more than two variables. Uh, first, the researchers select, uh, uh, wanted to create a the, digital, uh, the digital space and they have identified for uh, five uh, coordinates, five, five factors that they need to design their layout. Uh, and then they went and create an interacting system that uh, includes selection, rotation, sorry for that, that includes uh, selection, rotation, brushing, filtering and a ruler tool for the user to be able to manipulate the data in real time in a, in a VR environment. Brushing allows users to select uh, one or more data points in a cyclic visualization and see the selection linked across all coordinated views. They provided several brushing methods and the user can brush a single data point with a pointer that extends from the controller or a bimanual interaction of a pair of sliders on any axis, brush range in one dimension. Finally, a bimanual gesture with a data volume brushes a cube shaped region on all three axes at once. The design dimensions in extra data and visualization the researchers uh, thought about uh, uh, what would be the orientation and the general design of the user and how the user will interact with uh, the data and they have decided that four uh, variables will, will need to decide what, what is the best layout to test but the first one is dimension, the second one is the curvature of the, of the, of the visualizing rates, the aspect ratio and the orientation of the user relative to the data. So here you can see that this is a horizontal curvature vertical 
for user welcome and they study and they finalize their so that they will use these four uh, variables to determine uh, which layout they will test. The layout that they have decided uh, to, to use was uh, a flat layout, as we can see here in B, a quartz circular layout, as we can hear and see here in C, and a half circle layout, as we can hear here in D. Their task consists of a visual comparison between pairs of visualizations that are, are part of a small multiplier display. More specifically, the participants have to compare the value of two specific data points between two specific multipliers, in a total of 12 multipliers placed in a 2D cells with a grid of four columns and three rows. The data sets. The bar which is, a bars which is, is, which is a typical representation of multidimensional data, non special 2D data and BMI, which contains data that has special references from frames such as a floor plan. The parameters, as we explained, uh, the parameters that they will use to test this layout uh, will be time, accuracy, travel distance, gaze, and the preference of its user and the way they interact with, the, with, the, with their models. The first will study was the result bar datasets. So they find out that uh, in this time overall participants were faster to complete the task with the, with the flat layout. The accuracy overall participants were, were less accurate with the quarter circle layout, 0 0.3 and 0.1 for the flat and 0 0.12 for the half circle. The travel, di the travel distance, uh, they didn't see any difference in the distance participants travel during a uh, trial between the different layouts. Mm -hmm. The gale change, participants did one more back and forth between the two multipliers with the flat layout uh, than with the half circle one. And the preferences when they look at the ranking of the layout, uh, they can see that five participants ranked a quarter circle first against four participants for the flat and three for the half circle. So the quarter circle was the first that the, the users would prefer to do the research and analysis against all others. With the BMI datasets, the only difference they found is between the quarter circles and the half circle layout was that quarter, quarter circle faster, was faster by 4 seconds. In accuracy, there is no difference between the three layouts. There is also no difference for the short comparison distance. In travel distance overall, there is a difference between the travel distance between the quarter circles and the flat by 0.7 meters. The gale change overall, they cannot find any difference between the number of back and forth switches between the two multiplies, and they can only see a difference in the short distance in which participants did almost two more switches with the flat than with the, with the half circle one. And the preferences for the BMI data says six participants ranked quarter circle and half circle layout first against two uh, for a uh, flat. Only one around quarter circle layout last against five for flat and six for half circle. Here we can see a very detailed uh, diagram that is a fusion of all the data the scientists have collected. We have in the left side the bar and the BI main uh, type of charts on the, on the right. We have an overall score as, uh, vs short distance, long distance manipulation, and we have all the variables here, time, accuracy, distance, and gaze, that they evaluate all this, uh, all this data. Here we can see that this is the flat, the quarter circle and the half circle uh, uh, environment, and uh, the top share of its pair stones means and CLS of all measurements of layout. Across, uh, across conditions. The bottom chart, the bottom chart shows 95% CLS for the main difference between layouts. Arrows indicate significant difference between conditions. This is the result of the ranking for the three layouts uh, for the bar condition and the biomine conditions for, for the boss. So for the for the BMI condition, I will see the quarter circle was uh, first, and for the bar condition, also the quarter uh, circle was uh, first ranked against all others. 
the BMI, then the half cycle came second. But the, the, in the BMI, as in the in the in the bar, in the bar, the the flat surface came second. And uh, third, we had the half circle in the bar, and the flat surface on the BMI. So here we can see, depending on on type of data that the users analyze, may find some environments, some the design environments. Uh, better suited to visualize and manipulate so we don't have one style fits all and definitely I believe the, the data analysis has to do with uh, the, how, the, how we visualize the data the data environment has to do with what kind of data we visualize to achieve the, 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 the best possible uh, design layout the conclusion of, of, uh, of this uh, uh, paper was that the user studies revealed that the performance of different layouts is dependent on the number of multiplies displayed. So, sorry for that. So, uh, the user has uh, the user's performance uh, has uh, are directly linked to how many data sets we visualize. Uh, a flat layout is more performant even if it is not the user's preferred one due to the amount of work required. So they find out that the flat layout, although the users rank the half circle layout first, the flat layout is the more performant one that the users were able to do more tasks and visualize more data with the flat layout. However, participants complained about disorientation with full circle and that, and that made locating the specific multiply difficult. So we, we see here that with the full circle, uh, the full circle has not uh, performed uh, well and uh, the participants have, have, have found it difficult to interact uh, with that type of layout uh, with the data. You could also an issue with the full circle made getting an overview at a glance difficult. On the contrary, the flat layout allows users to easily obtain an overview of all the multiplies but requires too much walking. Regarding all these issues, the half circle provides a good compromise and was preferred by participants. So overall, the flat layout performed better for the users. The, the users didn't like it a lot because they need to move a lot to obtain a better view of the data. But uh, they they finalize the con they conclude that the half circle provide a good compromise between the performance of the users and the users and how users prefer to interact with the data. The second uh, paper I want to present uh, it was is the third surfaces and spaces collaborative data visualization in co-located immersive environments again from Moscow University and this paper reports on a study in which uh, teams of three co-located participants are given flexible visualization offering tools to allow, to allow, to allow a great depth of control in how they structure their shared workspace and visualize data. Here we will see uh, a video shortly. Give me some time, please, to uh, adjust the microphone so you can hear. Researchers have focused on exploring how novel arrangements of physical display surfaces, such as tabletops and wall displays, can be combined with augmented reality to support collaborative data visualization. However, how users collaborate is often dictated by the setup which the user has little to no control over. In this research, we present a user prototype we call Fiesta, the free-range immersive environment to support team-based analysis in order to explore how users collaborate in a shared, physically co-located virtual environment, where users are free to choose where they work. Fiesta is built around three main design requirements. Fiesta uses the Immersive Analytics Toolkit to support basic visualization tasks accessed by a two-dimensional panel. This panel allows users to alter visualizations which they can then position in the space around them. 
The panel itself can be moved, allowing users to dictate where and how they work. Fiesta has baseline data visualization functionalities, allowing users to perform operations such as binding dimensions to visual variables like size and color, specifying linking attributes for time series data visualizations, and faceting the data by dimension. Users can also inspect data points using a details on demand function. Fiesta is a shared environment, with each user represented by a virtual avatar and everything being shared and interactable by everyone to allow for workspace awareness. It was deployed on Tetherless VR backpacks, allowing free roaming in the room-sized environment. Fiesta uses virtual walls to act as boundaries of the room. To further explore the surface metaphor, we include a virtual table in the center of the room. These surfaces resemble their real-world counterparts, with users able to place visualizations onto them at will. Fiesta also introduces a number of novel features to support collaborative visualization, such as shared authoring panels supporting tear-out-style duplication of visualizations, visualizations that can be scaled and positioned freely on the surfaces or in the space around the user, rushing of data points with both shared and private modalities, tools for annotating visualizations, and support for an arbitrary amount of users in the immersive space in both co-located and remote contexts. We used Fiesta to conduct an exploratory study to observe how participants organize their workspace, collaborate with each other to find insights in the data, and make use of the surfaces and space around them. We had 10 groups of 3 participants in total, 5 groups in study part A, where we restrict them to 2D visualizations and a Gibraltar table, and 5 groups in study part B, where they have 3D visualizations and a table. They were asked to use Fiesta to solve data visualization tasks together with a mix of directed tasks and free exploration tasks. Some of our high-level findings are, Groups are able to perform collaborative visualization tasks in the immersive environment, typically using mixed focus collaboration styles. Participants use the walls to neatly organize their work when they only have 2D visualizations, but switch to less organized egocentric layouts with 3D visualizations. Furthermore, many groups did not use the table for tightly coupled work, instead placing visualizations in comfortable positions in space. Groups equally divided the room into territories, and ownership of objects was respected regardless of the territory the object was in. However, participants were willing to use each other's objects when there was a group-wide benefit during tightly coupled collaboration. More details, as well as the source code of Fiesta, can be found in the paper. Researchers have focused on exploring how novel and So here we have seen the video, it's a very interesting project and I will go into detail uh, right now. So they designed uh, the University of Mars, they designed and developed Fiesta to study how groups co collaboratively explore data in a free roaming immersive analytics environment. The requirements to produce the prototype was uh, a baseline data visualization system, a free roaming shared environment, and a room and, a, and the room and stuff that support the things that they put the ingredients they, they needed to put in place in order to produce uh, that prototype. The technology and the hardware they used, uh, they used HT Vive uh, Pro. Uh, uh, also, they have integrated VRPC backpass uh, for the Vives in order to have a better experience and be able to, uh, to, to move freely around the room. They use the Steam VR 2.2 stations to avoid uh, tracking issues between the three participants of the, of the, of the, of the pictures you can see here. Uh, they use a window PC that manages the VR backpacks remotely. They use the Unity engine to develop the prototype and the Unity network engine photon. And also they used IATK for rendering data points. The first requirement uh, for the baseline data visualization system uh, was built around a customized version of the immersive analytics toolkit uh, IATK. The interaction they choose a user interface element that are standard across the desktop and the uh, VR environment to minimize uh, learning time and curve for the participants. Uh, to create visualization, users interact with the flat panels, uh, reminiscent of a physical touch panel display. The panel is split between a user interface and accompanying with a visualization. And uh, also the users have a point of brushing and an annotation tools that uh, are, avail are available via a spin menu above the user's uh, offhand. The brushing and selection of data record is uh, linked across all visualizations and uh, all users can see what other users do, everything is shared. 
except from the from the brass too. The second requirement was the free roam in certain environments we mentioned, and the goal was to emulate a physical call located to collaborate environment using VR. Uh, they wanted a tethered VR experience to prevent tripping and uh, enabling free roaming around the room. They used uh, the, the Oculus Avatar SDK to embody the user's uh, head, board and torso and hand models and uh, gave, uh, that gave presence to the, the sense of presence between all three, all three participants, participants and uh, make collaboration much easier. And also, each user and uh, each user was defined by one color. So as you can see in the picture, red, yellow, and green. So and also their tools were the same, the same color, and their uh, diagrams and charts. So with that, with that, the, each one was able to separate his work from another person's work and uh, familiar, familiarize himself with with uh, their colored works. The second requirement was uh, a room and self affordances. They used uh, a simple room with four walls that uh, had the that had the usage of the basically large displays that the users will be able to move freely and pin objects all around the wall and visualize the data. And also they used a tabletop uh, VR temp the table that the users can gather around and study data above that table. The user study of this work is uh, to explore how groups behave in a virtual environment like Fiesta and Fiesta solve visual analytics traps and understand how users utilize surface-based functionality to accomplish this. The part A, performed many, the part a of the users performed uh, many more uh, actions per minute than part B, particularly due to, to the increased use of the panel to modify visualization properties. Uh, the average stack of duration but is a movement actions performed on panels and visualization collaboration time collected from trace data and collaboration video coding. So as you can see here the the actions that the part A took was much much better because they utilized the features of the applications uh, more. Here we can see a type of uh, heat map uh, for each partition and their objects sampled every five seconds using a perspective uh, projection. Uh, large dark grey border is the wall, as you can see here, in here, and uh, the grey center was, uh, is the table, the tabletop that the, that the users can gather around, uh, above. Brightest areas indicate more time spent there, red, green and blue, each represent a unique participant as we said and visualization panels use the same color as their owner. So here we can see that uh, the red user has placed his visualization data in this in his side of the room. The blue and the green have done the same and have already all, all of them have defined a virtual space that can work and then they don't mix with each other. Although they can they can work each other as you can see here that they gather around uh, the table and they visualize data above the table and they collaborate closely at any time. Also, this is a heat map of how they move during the experiment and how uh, they interact with each other. This is an actual photograph, it's meant for a tight couple collaboration. Uh, the G7 working on the same panel together on the left and the G6 working on, on 3D visualization on the center table together on the right. So both both users uh, they able to visualize and uh, speak with each other and uh, analyze data that are interesting to without uh, without obstructing each other's work. The conclusion from this paper was that the partitions uh, that the third VR environment was useful in maintaining workspace awareness and to share findings with each other. The authoring panel metaphor allowed them to easily create 2D visualization and organize them neatly along the virtual walls, not only for presentation but in some cases for exploration and analysis. The 3D visualizations were frequently created but were freely suspended in convenient locations in space rather than on top of the virtual table. These surfaces, while optional for users to use, were inherently predefined. A switched direction could be more to explore imaged workspace configuration when users are able to arrange their own surfaces 
surfaces. Our study, or her study also confirmed that previous results from collaborative work studies in non-immersive environments and that the group should then orga organically divide the shared virtual environment into equally sized territories which were good for individual work. They transitioned to style to couple collaborations either by observing each other's work or through discussions regardless of physical distance. The use of avatars and pointers facilitate collaboration with uh, Dixies, allowing part participa participants to work while up closer or, fun or when far apart. However, a potential factor in how groups work was the use of uh, co-located VR environment as participants may have been apprehensive to perform uh, certain actions due to the risk of, co of the collision. The possibilities I, I have discovered after, after the research I've done, I uh, was found in another company that was a very interesting one, and I want to share, you, uh, share with you a video uh, that I found for them. Virtualytics is an AI-driven data analytics platform that lets anyone, regardless of their background, get actionable insights from complex data faster than they can with other tools. Our advances in artificial intelligence and immersive visualizations allow users to enhance and automate data exploration faster and more efficiently than ever before. Virtualytics suite of machine learning tools not only recommends and builds revealing visualizations, but also delivers interactive insights. With our smart mapping tool, users can select a key performance indicator, and VIP will instantly rank the most influential metrics to show you how they affect your target data. 3D network graph visualizations automatically build interactive reports on trends, anomalies, and relationships existing within your unstructured data. And with GPU-based processing, we're able to render and compute results up to 100 times faster than any other business intelligence tool. VIP enables users to generate multi-dimensional visualizations, which include features like size, playback, halos, and filters that drastically improve your storytelling capabilities. Additionally, the Virtualytics Python API allows you to seamlessly integrate VIP into any workflow with ease. For those looking to immerse themselves even further, Virtualytics offers users the ability to explore, collaborate, and share their data in virtual reality and in real time. Virtualytics, changing the way we understand data. So, as you can see here, that, was video, the, that uh, video was very interesting. They have... Uh, uh, sorry for that. They have really went above and beyond to able to analyze uh, data in VR. They have created a whole uh, new environment with interactions and capabilities that the users can uh, load their data and analyze them in VR and collaborate uh, with others. And I believe this is... Uh, Collaborative data, collaborative data analysis in VR or AR will be uh, will have a huge impact in the future in uh, in every in, in every section of research uh, because it will allow a different perspective and uh, to collaborate with others at the same time and basically share your knowledge and analyze everything in real time. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Constantinos Chambaris.